The market internals tool can help you get an understanding of the overall health of the markets. This tool will allow you to see just how well the market performed on any given day. Of course, we know that we can track the performance of the market using indexes or ETFs that follow the indexes. For example, I have the SPY ETF pulled up and this reflects the performance of the S&P 500. We can see that the S&P 500 is down on the day and that's pretty much all we know. I can also look up the Qs to see how the NASDAQ performed on the day. But once again, this is a summarization metric and it doesn't give us all of the details. If we wanted more details, we could load up the market internals tool. The market internals tool gives you more details on how the market performed on any given day. We can see the number of advancers being stocks that close green on the day or the decliners being stocks that are red on the day. We can also see a few stocks are unchanged and we can also look at the total volume and dollar volume as well as trades on the day. These can give us some pretty good insights that we can't get from just looking at an ETF chart. Broad market ETFs often assign different weights to different stocks. So if the S&P 500 is up, this may be due to one of the heavily weighted stocks being up on the day, whereas the majority of stocks could be down. The market internals window shows us exactly how many stocks are up and exactly how many stocks are down. We can also look at the volume to see just how actively traded the market is that day. And we can change which markets we want to look at by going to the drop down window. I have it set to NASDAQ, but we can look at the New York Stock Exchange. We can look at Amex. We can look at the OTC markets and we can look at the total of all of these combined. When we look at this, we can see that there are about 4,000 stocks that closed green on the day and about 8,000 that closed red on the day. This shows us that while the majority of stocks were down, there were actually quite a few stocks that were performing well. We could continue this analysis for specific markets like the OTC market, which is infamously cyclical. We can check for days where the volume is higher than average and we can see just how well stocks within this market are performing. This tool is incredibly simple and gives you a great snapshot of the market's performance. To load it up, just go to the Scans Launchpad, click on Toolbox, and select the Market Internals tool. If you have any questions, just reach out to our support team.